Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your phone before you attempt to install a custom ROM on your phone. And then when you make a backup, you can always restore it later just in case you do not like the new custom ROM that you just installed. So if you're running HTC One with the Sense UI, but you want to try a brand new ROM, you go get the ROM and you install that ROM on your uh, phone. And I have videos detailing on how to do that. Now let's say you don't like the new ROM. The custom ROM sucks. How do you go back to your original settings? This is what this video is about. Okay, so I'm going to give you a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to back up your phone before you install a new custom ROM. And then later, if you don't like the custom ROM, I'm going to show you how to restore your phone to what you backed it up to. Let's get started. Now, I'm assuming you already have a phone that is unlocked and rooted. Otherwise, this video is meaningless. Okay, so that's a prerequisite to watch this video. So let's get started. Let's, let's back up the current setup of my phone. Power off the device. Power off. And then let's uh, boot into the uh, bootloader mode. Press volume down and power at the same time. That's our bootloader mode. And now we're going to skip to recovery and press power to select it. And now we're going into our recovery mode. <clears throat> so there we go. Now all custom recoveries including this one which is the clockwork mod recovery have built-in backup and restore mechanisms and there it's a complete suite okay so we're gonna use what's already there that's backup and restore so tap that and what you wanna do is the first thing you wanna do is back up your current image tap backup and it actually starts to back up your whole phone so just to be clear your entire phone is being backed up, including your messages, phone calls, contacts, applications, application data, safe passwords, whatever. It's a complete system uh, backup. Now, this backup process is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip to the end, and I'm going to be right back with you. So it should take only a couple more seconds before the backup is complete. Okay, so the backup is complete. Let's say that during we, we went out there and we installed another custom ROM. So let's assume that we now have a brand new ROM installed on this phone and uh, you want to get rid of it. Okay, you already have a backup. So what you have to do is you have to clear the existing ROM from the phone and restore what you just backed up. So let's assume that we exited the custom recovery, we launched our new ROM, and then we came back into the custom recovery by pressing volume down and power, and here we are. The first thing you have to do is you have to wipe the phone clean. So you're going to tap wipe data factory reset, and then you're going to say yes. Tap that. That's going to be a quick process. It formats the whole phone and clears out the existing operating system. You also want to do the caching. So clear the cache. And you're done there too. Once you have done that, go back into backup and restore. And now remember, if you go into restore, you will going to see the data that you just backed up previously. I have three of these backups, but I happen to know which one is the one that I just did. It is the last one at the bottom here on the list. Oh, let's go back in there. Restore. Okay, so I'm going to tap that. And then I'm going to say yes. Restore. So what now just happened was the whole phone is being restored back into what it was before I installed the custom ROM of my choice. Okay? And this is going to replace, as I said, the entire phone back to exactly as it was. So this process also is going to take some time. I'm just going to do a forward, uh, fast forward and be right back with you. Alright, so the phone, the restore is complete and you see a message at the bottom that says restore 
complete and that's it you're done your phone has been restored the the, the shitty ROM that you did not like is gone so go back and what you want to do next is you want to tap reboot and once you do that it's just gonna start the phone over and watch this boom you're back into the HTC Sense UI which uh, which your phone came with when you purchased the phone this is how easy it is to restore a phone from a backup and the reason it's so easy is because of a custom recovery that is so well made for our use so let's uh, do a quick summary what you do is you ins before you install a new ROM you do a backup in the custom recovery then you install the new ROM if you like the new ROM you keep it if you don't like the new ROM you restore your old old ROM that you um, that you want that's how easy it is now if you have any questions put them down in the comment section and um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and uh, thank you for watching this video and have a good day alright